Since the time of the Founding Fathers, dark forces have been preying on America. As the fight against these vampires continued, a secret organization has trained people with remarkable skills. The agent's duty is to protect ordinary people from the forces of evil. Nunzu chatty with his gut sprayed all over a train carriage. I know how to shape an explosion, Edgar. Suck my dick. He's a secretary of war, not the secretary of bridges. Uh, let's go have a look see. I go high. Nah, it's not that bad. Gotta be careful. <clears throat> Give it a try. What's that sound? Stop whining and start moving! You smell that? Shit! Seven, eighteen sixty four, eighteen eighty one. Arranged in order of vent. All dead. Fuck. Boy, you better make all this worth our time, Chester.
Christ. <coughs> Worst damn barbecue ever. through. Take that. I can smell you, Jess, you lousy skunk. More money.
Now I'm pissed! Then let's get that son of a bitch! Young Rent here. Still on your father's leash, I see. <laughs> Heard you were on your way to the gathering, Chess. What's this? Catering? Why, I have no idea what you- That big shiny ball out there is no good for your sensitive skin. The sun's not to know what they'll do to me. Fun game. Let's test that theory. No, no, Richard, stop! Belmontville! The, the gathering's in Belmontville! Excellent choice, Chester. And since you're feeling so damn helpful, we're gonna be needing a guide. Consider it a promotion. Give shit. Belmontville's a long way from the manor. We're on a clock here. We've been hunting Debano for three months. What's another few hours? <sighs> have it your way. But your father's gonna have your ass as an ashtray if we don't make that presentation. You're retired. What's he gonna do? Fire you? <laughs> Belmontville Mines, huh? Oh, we're gonna be walking blind into a damn maze. And if our tick friend here is telling the truth, the Bono's gonna be right in the middle of it. I don't think I'm in a position to lie, do you? <laughs> That's the spirit, Chester. Now you lift those fancy illusions, and who knows? Maybe you'll make it out of this after all. The glamour! I... <laughs> Even I have my limitations, Mr. Gravener. You want a limitation? How about walking around without a head? Crawling with familiars. No question. <laughs> and where do you think you're going? Judging by that tone of yours, Sounds like I'm making sure Fancy Pants here doesn't make a run for it. In broad daylight. That's why we need familiars. I'm starting to question your qualifications for this job. Those ass licking. <laughs> Tick lovers should be shot on sight. Ah, what the hell. Maybe we can play with dynamite out here too. Right, Jess? I'll make you a new waistcoat. I don't believe my tailor would like that. See? You're bonding already. Ah, eat me! That gathering won't find itself, you know? Move it! Okay. You know the can is right there in front of you. Oh, shut up. I told you my sight's not recovered after the change. Hey, so you're telling me it's not the booze?
ticks. Gathering must be close by. about right. here somewhere. Dead end. Great. Hmm? You seeing this too? Take it off. Mr. Rentier, on a first date? What do you take me for? You're right. Maybe a little light to set the mood. No, no need. I see it now. Of course. The glamour. I'm on it. Today, Chester. Please. I need to concentrate. It's not that easy to sever the illusion from its source. What's the source? You don't want to know. Switch. I'll take the explosives, you get to Bono. Is this about the bridge? It's not not about the bridge. <sighs> Got the damn train, didn't I? architecture but that that's something it's hard to compete against the species Yeah. 
Okay, got a few more to go. Must be the entrance. Looks even bigger up close. Well, let's crash their little party. We can Humans are growing stronger, Dominic. We need to leave the shadow. Don't be fooled. Once our veil of secrecy is lifted, we won't stand a chance. We might be more powerful if they will crush us with their numbers. Enough. Your lines first to all out war with the humans endangers us all. Peace of Havana. Without the shoe. The wolves go hungry, yes. But the day is coming when the sheep will outwit the wolves. Haven't you been watching, brother? The humans have harnessed the power of steam and lightning, and they grow mighty. If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. And so you propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might lose. I propose we strike with my new asset. We can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguasuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. Control the change? Are you mad? Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition, I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. Enough! I will not allow you and your bastard greed to, to lead us into annihilation. Gita Davana, for the high crime of conspiracy against your own kind, I sentence you and your line to the true death. We had to try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... Then... We... FORCE THEM TO!
Think you could have brought a bigger knife? Some people get a gold watch when they retire. I got Susan here. And <laughs> Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? Well, what are you gonna do? Now that is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. Spend taxpayers' money. James Harrow. The people's hero. <laughs> I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. As long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. You're not staying for the presentation? The whole institute is in town. Uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. 